Hi, everybody. I'm DJ Foster here with Grand Valley State head football coach Matt Mitchell as the Lakers prepare to take on Fair State this Saturday night in their annual rivalry game. Mitch, uh, you're coming off a 51-43 victory against Michigan Tech last week at, up in Houghton. Uh, you led 37-7 to at halftime. The defense had played very well in the first half. Uh, obviously, they struggled a little bit in, in the second half, but what were you able to take away positively on the defensive side of the ball? Well, we stopped the run. I mean, that was the biggest thing. We played uh, more physical than we had played probably in the previous weeks, and uh, I think we executed the game plan better than we had in the previous week. So um, we had enough hats down there in some other games and weren't making plays. Uh, we had a lot of hats down around the ball. And I think the difference was we had some guys being physical at the line of scrimmage, and we did a better job tackling on them, too. So, um, you know, we only, I think, it was 30-some yards rushing, and then they got in to start throwing the ball around. But it was a big emphasis of us to try to stop the run uh, because New Michigan Tech was going to try to establish a run and uh, maybe potentially try to shorten the game. So, uh, you know, we executed well in the first half, stopping the rushing attack. Isaiah Grimes has stepped in pretty seamlessly at quarterback, the quarterback position, which I think you kind of expected, uh, but maybe not to this this effect. How have you seen him grow from, from day one when it, when you said, hey, Isaiah, you're the starter now, to now it's about a couple weeks now? Confidence, much more confident back there in the pocket. And uh, like I've mentioned before, uh, the protection that he's getting has allowed him to have more confidence. Uh, what our offensive line is being able to do to slow down rush and uh, really keep people out of his face is allows him to sit back there and just uh, – you know, kind of throw the ball around. So he's got a lot more confident. I think he's also uh, got uh, a more um, even keel approach about how, you know, and there's some highs and lows that occur in the game, and he's done a really good job. He's kind of, uh, you know, had a bad snap, just flush it, move on to the next one, and is kind of just approach the next play. So uh, I like his approach. I like his confidence, and he's come a long way. And, uh, again, he's going to get uh, challenged here Saturday, but he's growing, and he's getting better as the season progresses. You led me to my next question, actually. Uh, Isaiah Grimes and Heath Parling haven't been sacked this year. You've only given up one sack uh, on the offensive line. Talk about They're kind of the unsung heroes pretty much every year uh, as they don't put up any stats themselves. But how great have they been this year? They've done a great job. You know, We had all the, a lot of those guys back. Most right. of those guys had all played last year, and we got Matt Armstrong back. And uh, Like I said, we've got some younger guys pitching. I think that what Connor Gould is doing being our starting center for five games has been pretty remarkable just mm-hmm. the way his approach as a redshirt freshman. So, yeah, I mean, we, we have a, a lot of balance on offense. You know, we were able to run the ball and obviously we were able to throw the ball around things, and that's got to start with your offensive line. And we're not a one-dimensional team. We can do either thing very effectively, and uh, in order to do that, you have to be good up front. So I'm, uh, our offensive line has played well up to date. Again, um, Ferris's defensive line is going to pose a big challenge because they're very active. They do a lot of movement. You talked about the Ferris State defense. Ferris State's offense comes in with the league-best 309 yards rushing per game. What kind of problems do, will they pose offensively? Well, they're a big problem for us schematically. Um, it's a complete divergence from anything that we've really practiced up to this point. So uh, a lot of option-based principles, but they will also you know, go far, four wide receivers and really spread you out. So you can't afford to um, you know, have a ton of hats at the line of scrimmage, or you could give you problems a little bit in the passing game too. So they're the type of offense that, um, in a different way, but similar to like ours, makes you defend 53 and a third wide and the full 100 yards of the field. Okay. And uh, we do that too, just a little bit more out of a pro set. I think they do that effectively um, out of an option-based attack. Talk about the rivalry that goes along with this whole thing, the anchor bone. Uh, obviously, they have a new head coach, so there's new new blood there. Uh, you know, And obviously, it could be one of the highest attended games in school history, so the, the environment's going to be pretty, pretty exciting. Well, with the institutions being so close, I think that that obviously fueled the rivalry. And, um, you know, Fair State has a presence as a university in Grand Rapids, and so there's a lot here. And there's a lot of people in West Michigan that are Grand Valley alums and Fair State alums. And so you get a lot more people coming to the game that have attended both institutions. So it starts at an institutional level. And as you work down through athletics, and there's been, a, you know, in other sports, there's been a lot of battles. And football-wise, um, you know, we've, we've been fortunate to be on the, the right side of the column here the past few years. Uh, but now uh, things have changed. They've, there's a different head coach up there. There's a different culture. There's a different environment up there. And as a result, you're seeing a lot more energy. So their losses they've had have been, you know, they lost in overtime last week. If they hadn't turned the ball over, arguably they could be coming in here undefeated in North Division play with only one loss. Um, they're just a few snaps here and there from being coming in here uh, undefeated in North Division play. So we're going to get a tough test out of them. And uh, these rivalry games, I think the GLIAC did a great job uh, all across the board in football this week is rivalry week. Sure. You got Saginaw and Northwood and a lot of things. And I think that brings a lot of excitement to GLIAC football, both in Ohio and Michigan. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad that they went to that because it's kind of fun having all these rivalry games happen in the same week. And it should be a great, great atmosphere here. So I think the weather's going to be good. And uh, I know we've uh, been doing well on ticket sales. So it's going to be fun for our players on both sides of the ball and obviously probably be fun for Ferris too and uh, coming in here and just playing in that type of environment. Grand Valley State and Ferris State this week for the Anchor Bone Rivalry Trophy. 
as uh, the Lakers and Bulldogs will do battle at 7 p.m. here in Lubber Stadium in Allendale. Mitch, best of luck this week. Thanks All for your right, time. Thank you. Thanks for watching the Grand Valley Sports Network.